Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Caleb and welcome back to the Code Academy HTML and CSS course. In this video tutorial today we are going to finish off where we left off in the last one with our HTML basics. So let's go ahead and navigate to CodeAcademy.com and now let's drop down to our body elements. So this is going to be a short little video. Let's go ahead and reset our code. Paragraphs and headings. We're definitely making good progress. We've learned when we we've learned when and why we use HTML. We've also learned how to set up an HTML file with tags. We've also learned how to title the web page within the head tag. We've also learned how to create paragraphs in the body tag with paragraph tags. The next step is to give our paragraph headings but using the heading tags. Let's start with the heading 1 tag, which is h1 tag. This content between the tag will be the biggest. In the body section, create a heading. To do this, create an h1 tag. Add content. Close the element with a closing h1 tag. Your content should now be between the opening heading 1 tag and the closing heading 1 tag. Underneath the heading tags, create two paragraphs using the paragraph tags with whatever content you like. So, obviously, we can't put any of our stuff in our head tags. Even though we may want to, it will not render on our page. Anything that we want on our page must be within the body tags. So don't get confused there, guys. I know we just learned that. So now what we need to do is create an h1 tag. Now a heading 1 tag is simply created by an o a greater than sign, the letter h, and then 1. And then we're going to close it by using the same exact greater than sign, less than symbol, or greater than sign, backslash, h1, and then the less than sign. Now within that we can say this, or let's just not even capitalize it, let's just say this is my heading. All right. Now underneath it, it wants us to make two paragraph tags, uh, say para1, and then underneath that, let's just say para2, alright? So as you can see, in the size comparison, this is my heading. The heading1 tag is pretty big compared to the paragraph tag. So let's try and save and submit our code and see if we can continue. So sweet, we got way to go, let's start the next lesson. And also let's reset our code. More about headings. HTML actually lets us have more than one heading size. There are six heading sizes, where h1 is the boss and it heading or h6 is the puny. So if we look in our hierarchical list right here, our heading one or our h1 tag is the CEO. And usually, if you're the CEO of a company, you're Mr. Badass. You're the head guy. You do whatever you want. You get away with it, and you make all the money, which is awesome. And then underneath him, you have our VP, which is the Vice President, or known as the Heading 2. And you know, you may not be making as much money as the CEO, but you're still pretty, you're, you're still the shit. Then underneath that, you have our H3, which is going to be someone like a director. Then you have your middleman, which is our H4, or our Heading 4 tag, which is our middle management. And then we have our lowly assistant, which is our H5. Now... Let's not forget, this isn't the bottom of the bo uh, bottom of the totem pole, but it is pretty low. Underneath him, you have H6, and this is the dude who is pretty much everyone's a bitch and goes and gets coffee for everyone. So H6 is going to be the smallest one. So below, we'll ask you to add headings of various sizes. Feel free to write whatever you like for the heading. Uh, so for instructions, your code currently has one heading, one heading, and two paragraphs. Add an H3 heading before the second paragraph. So we have one paragraph, we have two paragraphs. So before the second paragraph, we need to add an H3. This is, or let's just say, heading three. That way we know which size it is. And then add an H5 heading after the second paragraph, and then add a third paragraph after this heading. So now we need to add an H5, and then we can say this is going to be heading 5, there we go, oh, there we go, heading, and then we need to add another paragraph, 
and we'll just say para 3. So here we go. This is going to be a, my heading. So at the very top, we have our heading 1, which is the biggest, as we can see. And then we have a paragraph. And then underneath that, we have a heading 3 tag with some text within it saying heading 3. And as you can see, every time we get, the, the bigger the number is, so H1 is obviously the biggest. H3 is a little bit smaller, and then as you can see, H5 is actually smaller than the H3, and obviously H5, or a heading 5 tag, is not as big as a heading 1 tag. So if you want a small heading, you'd use like H6, H5, H4. If you want like a medium-sized heading, you'd use H3 and H2. And then if you want a large heading, you just say H1, like this. So let's try and save and submit our code. And see if we get the green light. Sweet, way to go. Start the next lesson. And also, let's reset our code. So, using every heading. Nice work. Given that there are six heading sizes all together, we should make use of all six. Add three more headings to the code. Make use of H2, H4, and H6. Make sure to close all your tags. Underneath each heading, adding or add a short paragraph. Don't forget, paragraphs need opening and closing paragraph tags. So, let's do this in order. So we kind of almost got it in order. We can use these two right here. I'm just going to delete that. So right now, we're within our body tags, okay? And now what we have is a heading one, and this is my heading, and I'm going to change this to say head one, okay? And then I'm going to say paragraph one underneath it. Now underneath that, I'm going to put a heading two tag and put that as head two. Now underneath our H2 tag, we're going to put another tag, or paragraph tag, and we're going to say paragraph 2, or para 2, and then we're going to do the same thing. Obviously, you guys will probably catch on by now. We're on our head 3, and then we're going to be doing what's next? Oh, a paragraph, or para 3, that's right, and we're going to keep doing this for our heading 4, and we're going to say head 4. And now we're going to say para 4. Remember the space. And then let's do the same exact thing for our H5. And then we're going to say head 5. And then another paragraph. And para 5. And then last but not least, we need to have an H6. And then this is going to say head 6. And then we're going to add another paragraph and call it para 6. So now if we look over here, we have our heading 1 compared to a paragraph tag. Okay, so heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, heading 5, heading 6. As you can see, heading 6 is really, really minuscule and small. And heading 1 is super large and big. So as you can see... H1 is the biggest, and H6 is the smallest. Please don't forget that. I'm stressing it so much. Hopefully you do not forget that. So let's try and save and submit our code to see if we get the green light. Congratulations, we finished the section, and we got the green light. Alright guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this lesson of learning how to use headings. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to like, favorite, comment, subscribe for future and more videos. Stay tuned, because next we're going to learn how to add images to our webpage. Alright guys, I've been Caleb, and you guys have a wonderful night. Peace.